CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 6 Chapter 9 Data Handling Page 196 Part 3 Exercise 9.2 1. Total number of animals in five villages are as follows. Village A 80, Village B 120, Village C 90, Village D 40, Village E 60. Prepare a pictograph of these animals using one symbol to represent 10 animals and answer the following questions. A. How many symbols represent animals of village E? B. Which village has the maximum number of animals? C. Which village has more animals, village A or village C? 2. Total number of students of a school in different years is shown in the following table. Years, number of students. 1996, 400. 1998, 535. 2000, 472. 2002, 600. 2004, 623. A. Prepare a pictograph of students using one symbol to represent 100 students and answer the following questions. A. How many symbols represent total number of students in the year 2002? B. How many symbols represent total number of students for the year 1998? B. Prepare another pictograph of students using any other symbol each representing 50 students. Which pictograph do you find more informative? 9.7. A bar graph. Representing data by pictograph is not only time-consuming, but at times difficult too. Let us see some other way of representing data visually. Bars of uniform width can be drawn horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them and then the length of each bar represents the given number. Such method of representing data is called a bar diagram or a bar graph. Page 197 9.7.1 Interpretation of a bar graph Let us look at the example of vehicular traffic at a busy road crossing in Delhi, which was studied by the traffic police on a particular day. The number of vehicles passing through the crossing every hour from 6 a.m. to 12 noon is shown in the bar graph. One unit of length stands for 100 vehicles. We have the picture of a bar graph showing the number of vehicles with the time intervals. The scale is one unit length equal to 100 vehicles, that is, one unit length is equal to 100 vehicles. We can see that maximum traffic is shown by the longest bar, that is, 1,200 vehicles for the time interval 7 to 8 a.m. The second longer bar is for 8 to 9 a.m. Similarly, minimum traffic is shown by the smallest bar, that is, 100 vehicles for the time interval 6 to 7 a.m. The bar just longer than the smallest bar is between 11 a.m. to 12 noon. The total traffic during the two peak hours, that is 8 to 10 a.m., as shown by the two long bars is 1,000 plus 900 equal to 1,900 vehicles. If the numbers in the data are large, then you may need a different scale. For example, take the case of the growth of the population of India. We have a bar graph next to this, representing years and the population of India in crores. One unit length is equal to 10 crores. The numbers are in crores. So, if you take one unit length to be one person, drawing the bars will not be possible. Page 198 Therefore, choose the scale as one unit to represent 10 crores. The bar graph for this case is shown in the figure. So, the bar of length 5 units represents 50 crores and of 8 units represents 80 crores. Example 9. 
Read the adjoining bar graph showing the number of students in a particular class of a school. We have a bar graph giving years and number of students. One unit length is equal to 10 students. Answer the following questions. A. What is the scale of this graph? B. How many new students are added every year? C. Is the number of students in the year 2003 twice that in the year 2000? Solution. A. The scale is one unit length equals 10 students. Try B and C parts for yourself. Exercise 9.3 1. The bar graph given alongside shows the amount of wheat purchased by government during the year 1998 to 2002. We have the bar graph showing the years and wheat in 1000 tons. One unit length is equal to 5000 tons. Read the bar graph and write down your observations. In which year was A. The wheat production maximum B. The wheat production minimum Page 199 2. Observe this bar graph which is showing the sale of shirts in a ready-made shop from Monday to Saturday. The bar graph shows the number of shirts sold with respect to the days of the week. One unit length is equal to five shirts. Now, answer the following questions. A. What information does the above bar graph give? B. What is the scale chosen on the horizontal line representing number of shirts? C. On which day were the maximum number of shirts sold? How many shirts were sold on that day? D. On which day were the minimum number of shirts sold? E. How many shirts were sold on Thursday? 3. Observe this bar graph which shows the marks obtained by Aziz in half-yearly examination in different subjects. We have the bar graph showing subjects in respect to the marks obtained. One unit length is equal to 10 marks. Answer the given questions. A. What information does the bar graph give? B. Name the subject in which Aziz scored maximum marks. C. Name the subject in which he has scored minimum marks. Page 200. D. State the name of the subjects and marks obtained in each of them. 9.7.2. Drawing a bar graph. Recall the example where Ronald... Section 9.3 had prepared a table representing choice of fruits made by his classmates. Let us draw a bar graph for this data. Name of fruits, number of students. Banana, 8. Orange, 3. Apple, 5. Guava, 4. First of all, draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. On the horizontal line, we will draw bars representing each fruit and on vertical line we will write numerals representing number of students. Let us choose a scale. It means we first decide how many students will be represented by unit length of a bar. Here we take one unit length to represent one student only. We get a bar graph as shown in a joining figure. There is a bar graph of fruits in respect to the number of students and one unit length is equal to one student. Example 10. Following table shows the monthly expenditure of Imran's family on various items. Items. Expenditure in rupees. House rent. 3,000. Food. 3,400. Education. 800. Electricity. 400. Transport. 600. Miscellaneous 1200. To represent this data in the form of a bar diagram, here are the steps. A. Draw two perpendicular lines, one vertical and one horizontal. B. Along the horizontal line mark the items and along the vertical line mark the corresponding expenditure. Page 201. C. 
take bars of same width, keeping uniform gap between them. D. Choose suitable scale along the vertical line. Let one unit length is equal to 200 rupees and then mark the corresponding values. Calculate the heights of the bars for various items as shown here. House rent, 3000 divided by 200 is equal to 15 units. Food, 3400 divided by 200 is equal to 17 units. Education, 800 divided by 200 is equal to 4 units. Electricity, 400 divided by 200 is equal to 2 units. Transport, 600 divided by 200 is equal to 3 units. Miscellaneous, 1200 divided by 200 is equal to 6 units. Then we have the bar diagram of the items versus the expenditure in rupees. One unit length represents 200 rupees. Page 202. Same data can be represented by interchanging positions of items and expenditure as shown here. The bar graph here shows the expenditure in rupees on the horizontal line and the items on the vertical line. Again, one unit length is equal to 200 rupees. Do this. 1. Along with your friends, think of five more situations where we can have data. For this data, construct the tables and represent them using bar graphs. Exercise 9.4 1. A survey of 120 school students was done to find which activity they prefer to do in their free time. Preferred activity, number of students. Playing, 45. Reading storybooks, 30. Watching TV, 20. Listening to music, 10. Painting, 15. Draw a bar graph to illustrate the above data, taking scale of one unit length is equal to five students. Which activity is preferred by most of the students other than playing? Page 203. 2. The number of mathematics books sold by a shopkeeper on six consecutive days is shown below. Days, number of books sold. Sunday, 65. Monday, 40. Tuesday, 30. Wednesday, 50. Thursday, 20. Friday, 70. Draw a bar graph to represent the above information choosing the scale of your choice. 3. Following table shows the number of bicycles manufactured in a factory during the years 1998 to 2002. Illustrate this data using a bar graph. Choose a scale of your choice. Years, number of bicycles manufactured. 1998, 800. 1999, 600. 2000, 900. 2001, 1100. 2002, 1200. A. In which year were the maximum number of bicycles manufactured? B. In which year were the minimum number of bicycles manufactured? 4. Number of persons in various age groups in a town is given in this table. Age group in years? Number of persons. 1 to 14, 2 lakhs. 15 to 29, 1 lakh 60 thousands. 30 to 44, 1 lakh 20 thousands. 45 to 59, 1 lakh 20 thousands. 60 to 74, 80 thousands. 75 and above, 40 thousands. Draw a bar graph to represent the above information and answer the following questions. Take one unit length is equal to 20 thousands. A. Which two age groups have same population? B. All persons in the age group of 60 and above are called senior citizens. How many senior citizens are there in the town? Page 204. What have we discussed? 1. 
we have seen that data is a collection of numbers gathered to give some information. 2. To get a particular information from the given data quickly, the data can be arranged in a tabular form using tally marks. 3. We learned how a pictograph represents data in the form of pictures, objects or parts of objects. We have also seen how to interpret a pictograph and answer the related questions. We have drawn pictographs using symbols to represent a certain number of items or things. For example, this symbol of a book is equal to 100 books. 4. We have discussed how to represent data by using a bar diagram or a bar graph. In a bar graph, bars of uniform width are drawn horizontally or vertically with equal spacing between them. The length of each bar gives the required information. 5. To do this, we also discussed the process of choosing a scale for the graph. For example, one unit is equal to 100 students. We have also practiced reading a given bar graph. We have seen how interpretations from the same can be made. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 6 Narrator Gaurav Marva Assistance in Production Soumya Malik Producer Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.